All right, boys and girls. So today we're going to be changing the oil because I have a job I got to do tomorrow. And uh, good thing I checked the oil because uh, it's like a 50-50 ratio of gas versus oil. So we're going to change the oil. Um, I bought a new battery. It's 950 cold crank. I'm pretty sure it's a semi-battery. I don't know. But hopefully it'll start the welder. Um, so I'm going to show you this real quick. So we got oil filter and we got all the stuff to um redo the leads so it'll hook the battery here i'll even show you this big bad girl she is massive where in the heck oh she's back here i knew that there she is look at that she's huge and then we got to change oil on the race car so i'll see you guys in a minute Before this all fills up with water and make it rain on too much, that's not what's supposed to look like that. I don't know if you guys know what oil is supposed to look like, but uh, this is not oil. See, it's like a half and half mix. That's not good. So, good thing we're replacing the oil. <laughs> now, we just gotta get the you had the bib oil filter right there off. So, see you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, so, um, yesterday it started raining. I got the gasoline oil mix out. Um, I tried getting this filter off. I could not get it off to save my life. So I had to go out to the farm to do it. I didn't think about taking video because I didn't take my stuff with me. But, uh, it took me and my brother with a strap wrapped around the oil filter five times and a uh, pickaxe we what we did was we wrapped around the filter ran it out to the pickaxe put the pickaxe up against the bed like this <laughs> and we wrapped the, the strap around the pickaxe and he started pulling on that and I started pulling on the strap and we finally got it to come loose and it took just about everything we had so figured I'd show you this filter now. <laughs> She is uh, pretty nasty. I mean, you couldn't tell. It took a little bit to get this bad girl off. So, but I figured I'd show you guys that. Show you how bad. So, yeah. Remember, always change your stuff because uh, it's not a good thing not to do that. So, anyways, so what we're going to do today. Before we go do this job, we're going to take and we're going to cut this end off, get all the corrosion out of there, and then we're going to cut this end off because I didn't think about buying the right battery because I was used to the old one. But we're going to cut both these ends off and we're going to replace them with new lugs. We're going to solder them in and then we're going to put shrink tape over them. And then we're going to put this over it so hopefully it stops it from rusting out as bad as it did. So, we'll get to it and I'll see you guys in a second. So we got her done. Um, you can see right there. I didn't get the heat shrink on it because I didn't think about it. I didn't think about putting it on the cable first. So I'll probably end up pulling that end off and the end that's over here and <clears throat> just running the heat shrink up to these. But we got the battery on. I got to remodify the box, but I'm going to do that after I get this job done. But let's go see if she'll uh, crank this bad girl over real quick.
boys and girls. So that's, that's all we had to do. Make sure these bad girls are welded on. See, just like so. I mean, obviously, some of them have gaps in them. And can't really change that. So this one obviously didn't have a gap, didn't have no problems. So and then back there, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit farther. Yeet. There you go. That one, I think I had to, yeah, I plated that one. I put the plate right in front. And then this one should have got a plate too. And then this one did not get a plate because it was bolted down already. So I just welded on that. Same with that one. And then back there as well. Deep. That one got a plate too. So. <clears throat> but that's, that's what I do. I just do random stuff all the time. So. Yeah, look at that. Sexy ass truck. All right, so if you guys uh, like the videos, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we will talk to you later.